Yo guys, it's Linux Benchmarks here, and in today's video, we're going to be setting up emulation on Linux, as I haven't made one of these videos before, and I thought that, you know, I think some people are asking in the comments of how to do it on Linux, and it's quite simple, and it's actually, like, it's very similar to how you do it on Windows, just like different directories, and maybe some different, like, how some mods are set up, but, um, yeah, if you guys um, want to give this video a like, you definitely can before the video starts, and you can, of course, you can subscribe to the channel. I would uh, really appreciate it. We're almost at 1.7k subscribers, which is really cool. So some of the emulators that we're going to use today to like to set up on Linux is going to be Yuzu, um, Simu, Dolphin, and RPCS3. Um, of course, there is some other ones. I know there's like a PS2 emulator. Um, you know, there is uh, plenty of different types of emulators that we could go on and on about. But I'm just going to do some of the um, popular ones, uh, which are the ones I just listed. And of course, uh, you on your uh, desktop environment of choice with the store that you have installed or to the terminal uh, you want to search for you know the emulator that you want so for us uh, for like simu we can go search up simu and we can find the flat hub repository uh, so if you don't have the flat hub repository it's super easy to enable um, on any type of real distro and most of them have it pre-installed um, if you don't know how to do it um, you can just go to the flat pack um, website and go to the uh, setup for your distro, you go get set up, you can pick the distro that you want, so um, like for me, I'm, I'm on Fedora at the moment, I've, I've came back to Fedora um, from OpenSUSE and it already has FlatHub pre-installed for me, so I can just go straight away and start searching for some emulators through the FlatHub repository. So the first one we'll start off with is uh, CMU. So when you first open uh, CMU, you know, it's the getting started page. So, uh, you know, one of the first things that asks for you is the MLC01 path. It says here that the MLC path is the root folder of the emulated Wii U internal flash storage. It contains all your saves, installed updates, and DLCs. It is strongly recommended that you create a dedicated folder for it. If left empty, the MLC folder will be created inside the CMU folder. So, of course, you can do this. Now, I actually have my own um, MLC folder, so I'm going to select mine. Uh, we can just go other we can go to our drive here we can go to mlc mlc 01 and then that is done uh, now the yeah, next one is game pass select game pass wherever the hell that is wherever they're stored um, you know your legally acquired um, wii u games wink wink legally acquired wink wink um, and then we want to download our community graphics packs which um, is like you know all types of different things i'm pretty sure there's some mods in here um, you can do like types of different things for like you know different graphics options which is what it says now the next one is where we can configure our input so for like game pads that we have uh, we can just go to configure we can set up a controller now i have a controller plugged in at the moment um it doesn't seem like we have to add a sdl controller and then it brings it up as an atari xbox 360 game controller when actually it's a um, sn30 pro uh plus from um 8-bit do uh, it's a really good controller though i don't think they sell it anymore you can get uh, some of the newer ones but i've had this one for around uh, I think like two years now and it's worked uh, amazing and I use the 2.4 gigahertz uh, dongle with it and it works uh, flawlessly on Linux with all types of different emulators and even on Steam as well. Uh, so you just want to add this um, and then that's it. We can uh, definitely check some things. We can go to settings, see if everything's working, which as we can see, our rotation and axes on our thumbsticks are working. We can change our rumble, uh, which is working right now. Um, we can... If you guys hear that, my rumble is working on my controller. Um, so we can click OK. Now we can close this and we can click close. We can actually, you know, we can open up a separate pad screen. We can start games in full screen if you guys want this. Um, uh, definitely enable it. Actually, we'll enable that because I do like to start my games in full screen. Um, and then and then for me, I also do have a game, which is Breath of the Wild, that I uh, legally acquired totally uh, but what we can do here is we can right click on the game that you want to emulate on wii u um, and before this uh, you know if you want to check if your game is going to work on uh, simu we can go to the compatibility list and we can go through the you know thousands of uh, wii u games to see if that game will work under simu and the majority do most of the time uh, there is a lot that are unknown 
uh, when it comes to like country or version, but the, I think the majority of Wii U games do work now, mostly perfectly fine. And the difference between like compatibility with Windows and Linux is very far between. I would I would say they're like you know basically the exact same when it comes to if a game will work under Wii U um, or any on any of these emulators that I um, specify today. Um, even like with like tweaks that you have to enable, you have to enable them on Linux as well to get like performance boost on certain games that don't work that well they're like maybe a bit buggy um, but as you can see here we can right click on breath of the wild we can go edit graphics packs and we can enable some mods slash cheats I should, there is cheats and then there's mods and then there's workarounds uh, slash enhancements and graphics so if we go to our graphics we can put the resolution at 1080p we can change the anti aliasing we also can um, boost our fps so if we want to we can add a higher fps limit so i'm pretty sure when playing Breath of the Wild, I can almost do 120 FPS, I'm pretty sure. Before you can enable some cheats, I never enable cheats because I want to play the game for what it is and not, you know, it kind of just ruins the immersion of actually trying to like beat the game. Um, we can also enable some draw distance. We can extend our memory. It adds an extra two gigabyte of emulated RAM. Uh, so only enable this if a mod you want to use requires this since it'll use more RAM. Uh, we can also like change like weather so we can replace things. We can uh, enable Xbox controller button layout, which I'll do that. Uh, we can enable some enhancements as well. So we can change some reflections, depth of field, clarity. Uh, we can, as we said before with graphics, we want to enable that. Uh, we can change the shadow diff uh, distance. So if your computer isn't um, that good when it comes to performance, you can um, change this and you know make it be able to run on your computer. So we're going to start it just to show an example that it does indeed work. Um, there was a couple other things we could have shown off. Uh, like we can go back, we can go to general settings. Uh, there is the feral game mode. I would highly recommend enabling that. Uh, we can do some async shader compile, but I'm pretty sure it's going to use GPL as it uses Vulkan. And if you're on AMD or NVIDIA, it, you should have GPL on like the latest version of Mesa. Um, if you're on Intel, you make sure that you're on Mesa 23.2, uh, which should be provided in, um, which, which is provided in Flatpak as uh, it is Mesa 23.3 at the moment. We can also see uh, here we can add an uh, overlay so we can enable this, uh, enable CPU usage, VRAM, RAM change our text color to like uh like a green um and then yeah we can just start the game we, i'm pretty sure we do have a a save um my controller just went, went flat so i'm gonna have to quickly go in here and do all that and as we can see here it is uh working now of course it is trying to load all of the animations basically trying to compile it all so one of the ways we can fix this is by enabling the async so async compiler shader compiler and um, this will basically try and load everything before the game starts um, yeah, that basically <clears throat> solves the issue. But as you can see here, the game is uh, running very well, I would say, besides the um, async. We can see here, actually, async shaders are working now. So our shaders should start to, you know, calm down after mostly everything is uh, loaded. But yeah, it's working really, really well, I would say. So the next one we can do, I would say, is Yuzu. Uh, this is another um, very good emulation for Switch games. And I do have some legally acquired games, totally. Um, it's set up for us already. Um, as we can go to the configure page for emulation. We can have a look at some of the general stuff. So game modes already enabled for us with Linux. I know there is a Discord rich presence available, but not in the Flatpak version because of how Flatbox sandboxing works, even though they should be able to get it working. Um, it does doesn't seem to um, be enabled on the Flatpak version. Uh, I know it's enabled on the App Image version. There is a, an option for it in the, I think it's like UI, I'm pretty sure is where it lives, but it's not enabled on Flatpak. And I don't know why, as it's, it is possible. Um, Yuzu does, um, sorry, not Yuzu, uh, Simu does it under Flatpak and that does work. Uh, but as you can see here, if we can change the um, resolution, we can um, implement some FSR sharpening, we can change it to aliasing. Uh, we already have the async GPU emulation and disk pipeline cache. So that's all good. Um, you can select the API here. So maybe if you have an older card that doesn't support Vulkan, you'll have to use OpenGL. Um, for the majority of graphics cards, we can just use Vulkan as that's pretty um, easy to use. We can go to audio as well. Uh, we can look at output engine, output device,
device, input device. We can leave most of these on audio. If you do have, um, <laughs> you can leave this on auto. If you do have audio issues though, you can switch these to the different audio options that they have. And yeah, we can also right click on this. We can open up our save data, mod data location. We can go properties on it, see the version. Um, we can also do individual um, things within the game to change things. So if you do have issues, um, you know, like CPU accuracy you need to change, maybe because you don't have like a really powerful CPU or maybe the game itself um, requires a certain CPU accuracy, uh, you should be able to change it there. You can also we can go to the Yuzu compatibility website where we can search up different games. Um, I know that both Tears of the Kingdom and Super Mario Odyssey do work on Linux. I have played them, played them before and they run amazing. Um, I do remember when, when Tears of the Kingdom first came out, um, <clears throat> it ran really bad under Yuzu and it took not long for Yuzu to Yuzu and uh, the mod community to be able to figure out FPS issues. But now it basically runs uh, perfectly fine. You don't need any like mods or anything unless you want to like cap your FPS um, or extend the FPS. Um, you definitely can do that. Um, as you can see here, we'll launch it and it should be able to work basically flawlessly, I would say. And uh, now we are in the game. Uh, we are building some, some shaders again, which is, I would say Yuzu does a way better job at loading um, shaders versus versus CMU. Yeah, you can see here, it, it is running at uh, the cap 30 FPS of the game. You can put this to 60 FPS, I'm pretty sure, um, with a mod. Um, you'll have to search that up online if you want that mod. You can't just like download a community graphics pack like you can on Simu. Uh, but it is rather easy to, you know, get that mod working. It's it's in the um, mod directory in .var slash app. Uh, so that's not really hard. You just enable hidden files in your home directory and should be able to go to it and then copy and paste into the Yuzu folder. Uh, but yeah, it was, yeah, it's working um, really, really good. And I think this is... <laughs> An amazing game, I would say. A really, really uh, good game. And I haven't played it in a while. This has been other games. Definitely a, a recommended game, I would say, to play. Now, one of the things I, I forgot to say on the Yuzu emulation is that when you first launch Yuzu, you do need some uh, prod keys and title keys for the game to actually um, function. They're kind of like kind of like the firmware of like getting the switch to like work with the emulation. Um, so you can find this online. Um, I know that it, I really can't show you where to get this because it is um, kind of like illegal to show um, where to get this from as it's like pirated firmware from the Switch. So you definitely can find it easily though by just searching up on YouTube or on Google and you should be able to find some. Uh, but if you do have a proper Switch, you can like extract it or something or like dump it um, on your computer. I don't know how to do that, but it should be um, pretty easy pretty easy to do and when you do find uh, the keys uh, you just want to go to the um, dot var slash app then we want to find yuzu we want to go to data yuzu and then keys and we can just paste our prod keys and title keys in here now the next one is rpcs3 now i don't have um any games on rpcs3 at the moment but i did have red dead redemption um on here not long ago uh, it seems like i deleted it accidentally or i just it was running out of space so i deleted it um, but this is also uh, runs really well on linux you can grab the um RP, the ps3 firmware so we just want to search for uh, PS3 uh, firmware and this is really easy to get I would say you just go to the official PlayStation website uh, we want to go to the using a computer to actually get the update you just want to download I already have it downloaded but when you first launch uh, actually no when you, when you open you just want to go to file install firmware and then select this and then you uh, RPCS3 will just update it for you super quickly and then you'll be able to start adding games and getting that working and we can go into the pads here we can select our actually wait no we're supposed to go to like for me I have to go to SDL um, and as we can see here we our sticks are working look down the bottom right we are working um, with all different buttons and stuff they're all functioning perfectly fine um, and yeah we can just like open and we can find our game that we want to add and then uh, we want to go to the RPCS3 compatibility so if we did search up red dead redemption 
and then we go to the info about this game as i know this game is a bit finicky with setting it up and it, the performance isn't that great on uh just in general on both windows and linux it's not that great um even with the perform performance enhancements it, it runs mediocre and there's some like little glitches with textures um so you, if you do here we can we can read through and we we want to just basically uh right click on the game and then we'd want to um, go on its properties and then just set up a custom one and enable these options to um, improve the performance and you kind of have to muck around with this to, to really see the performance and sometimes you'll get worse performance depending on the hardware uh, but yeah, after you've done that, uh, yeah, well, mostly the majority of um, PS3 games do run well. I was running Skate 3 as well. I always grab that game and hop back on because it was kind of like my favorite game as like a child on the PS3 because I actually had a PS3 and it was such a fun game to just like skate around different areas. So I always grab that and that runs um, amazing on Linux as well under RPCS3. And probably the last one would be Dolphin. Now Dolphin's pretty easy to set up. It's actually probably the most most easiest that I've had with emulation there's no real like things you have to like grab it's just like you need to grab your game set up graphics your controllers um, and that stuff is all relatively easy to do um, and then you just like go to the compatibility page see what game you're running um, and this this supports all types of different emulation I thought it was just GameCube but they do support Wii as well so that's really cool and I have played the um, the Mario games on Dolphin and those run uh, really well uh, I was like just mucking around and it was um it was working like flawlessly i had no real uh, big issues with it but as we see here if we go to the opengl graphics configuration uh we can switch the back end to vulcan um, i don't know which one's better necessarily i would i would think vulcan but they have opengl enabled as default uh, maybe that's just for compatibility for older systems but um i would switch it to vulcan and if you do have issues to switch back to opengl um, you can change the uh, native resolution so it's not like in a boxy uh, resolution you can change it to your actual monitor size um, you can change some color corrections we can enable some hacks for like gpu texture decoding uh, we can enable all types of different things i'm pretty sure there should be some like you know uh, gpl type things enabled or async somewhere you can find you can enable fps um yeah that's basically it i would say for um today's video as like emulation has become uh, super duper easy um under linux it's basically the exact same procedure as windows it's just that you know they're in different directories um so if you guys did enjoy this video um i would really 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 appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> decide to turn on my camera at the end of this video so if you made it this far um this is what i look like um today with a beanie on my head um you guys can definitely uh, give it a like sub uh thank you to my uh two supporters that we have at the moment if you want to become a supporter you definitely can but you definitely do not need to become one um you just need to like and sub to the channel that's that's all that's really required at least a like you know that, that would be great um, but <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video so peace